Hello, my reading champions. How are you all today? Thank you for always tuning in to my channel. Today's story is entitled The New Puppy by Kathleen and Dali, pictures by Lilian Obligado. Do you have a pet dog? How do you take care of your pet? Do you give training on your pet? Many books have been written on the care and training of dogs. But as far as we know, this is the only one that is specially for the very young child with a brand new puppy. We hope that it will be of help to all puppies and children and incidentally to parents as well. Johnny has a brand new puppy. I will call you Spot, says Johnny, for he knows that all puppies have names. Johnny and Spot are going to be friends and have lots of fun together. Spot is small and he is not very happy. He has just left seven brothers and sisters and his mother's safe, warm side. So Johnny strokes him gently and talks to him quietly. He doesn't hug him or squeeze him or shout or run about that would frighten Spot. Spot is a puppy. He isn't big and strong yet. This is the way Johnny picks up his puppy so the puppy won't get hurt. One hand under Spot's back legs, the other hand under his chest. Poor Spot. It is his first night at his new home and he is frightened. He cries a little. Spot wishes that he were back with his seven brothers and sisters and his safe warm mother. Johnny puts a warm bottle under Spot's blanket. He places a ticking clock nearby. Now Spot feels warm and he hears the friendly tick tick of the clock. He feels better. He doesn't cry anymore. He falls asleep instead. Johnny's mother shows Johnny how to make Spot's meals. Spot has a special dish all his own and a special place for eating. Spot likes to be left alone when he's eating. When Spot has finished eating, Johnny takes up his dish and cleans it. He leaves a dish of clean water in Spot's special eating place. Spot soon gets to know that it will always be there, full of fresh, clean water to drink. Spot is a baby and has lots to learn. Most important lesson of all is to be clean. Johnny will teach him. He will housebreak his dog. No, says Johnny, and he takes Spot outside. Johnny must put Spot outside or in his little box right after every meal. No, says Johnny when Spot jumps on the chair. The place for a good puppy is on the floor. No is a word that Spot quickly learns. He knows by the way that Johnny says it that he is not pleased. Learning no is a puppy's first lesson. He hears it often at first. No, says Johnny when Spot jumps up to meet him. Johnny is glad that Spot is pleased to see him. But one day, Spot may have muddy paws and jump on somebody's clean dress. So Spot must learn no to all jumping up. To stop him, Johnny quickly drops down to where Spot is and says, Hello. When Spot is older, if he still jumps up, Johnny will quickly put up his knee to meet Spot's chest. No, it won't hurt, but Spot won't like it and will soon stop jumping up. No, says Johnny when Spot chews Daddy's good slipper. Johnny whacks him, not very hard, with a rolled up newspaper. Never with his hand. A hand is for petting. Spot chews because he wants to have good strong teeth. So Johnny gives him a toy of his own. And Daddy tries to remember to put his slippers where Spot won't find them. No, says Johnny, when Spot keeps on barking. Spot barks because he's a puppy and likes to make a noise. 
Spot barks because he thinks he's looking after Johnny by scaring people away. But the neighbors don't like noisy puppies. So, no, says Johnny when he has let Spot bark a few times. Soon Spot is old enough to learn some more lessons. Johnny puts a leash around Spot's neck. He lets Spot drag the leash around for a whole day so the puppy can get used to it. Then the lesson begins. Come, says Johnny. Come is a new word for Spot. He decides to sit down and think about it. Come, says Johnny. He doesn't try to drag the puppy. Instead, he pulls quickly on the leash when he says come. When at last Potts comes, Johnny strokes his head and says good dog in a very pleased voice. Spot has learned no and come. Now he is ready to learn another new word. Sit, says Johnny, and he presses down gently on Spot's back. When he takes his hand away, Spot pops up like a jack in the box. But Johnny keeps saying, sit, and he presses down gently. At last, Spot understands. Then, good dog, good, good dog, says Johnny, very pleased. Lessons are hard work for puppies and boys, so Johnny keeps the lessons very short. After the lessons, Spot and Johnny romp and play games together. Johnny knows some good games like tug o war and throwing sticks for Spot to fetch. Johnny is a good teacher. He uses short, easy words and always the same ones. Instead of stop it Spot, you naughty bad puppy. Johnny always says no when Spot is being naughty. Instead of here Spot, come here quickly boy. Johnny always says, come. And when Spot does what Johnny tells him, Johnny always remembers to say, good dog, and to let his dog know that he is pleased. Spot wants to please Johnny, but too many lessons are hard to remember. So Johnny teaches Spot the same lesson over and over until Spot can do it easily. Now that you are such a smart puppy, I shall take you for a walk in the park, says Johnny. But when they get outside, Spot thinks that he's going to take Johnny for a walk. Heel, says Johnny. He pulls Spot close and keeps the leash short. When Spot pulls away, Johnny jerks him back hard and says, Heel. It takes a long time for Spot to learn a new word. To make him feel better, Johnny stops sometimes and says, sit. Spot knows sit and he sits nicely. Good dog, says Johnny. Then they start walking again. Heel, says Johnny, making the leash short. Soon, Spot will learn. When lessons are over, Johnny talks to Spot all the time. Johnny tells his dog everything. Of course, Spot can't understand words, but he likes the sound of Johnny's voice and he can tell how Johnny is feeling. If Johnny is sad, Spot is sad too. And if Johnny is glad, Spot is the happiest puppy in the world because Johnny and Spot are friends. The end. Oh, I love this story. Johnny trains Spot how to become a good dog not only to him as his friend, but to other people as well. Would you like to have a puppy too? Then, this story is a good training for you to start for your new puppy. Thank you for watching and reading with me. I hope this story made your day. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss stories like this. See you on my next video. Bye-bye. God bless you all.